Hello, this is Trivial Punk, and today we're playing Yogg. Well, the Yogg. Alright, let's begin. I'm gonna be... And I'm gonna be... The Yogg will be here in six weeks, and no one expects it. Not a one of us. We just keep on living our lives, week by week, unaware. Ugh, look at my little face. Alright. Let's go to the palace and attend a ball! You spend a week attending fancy gatherings. You gain two charm and one finesse. One day, the court jester approaches you. Would you like to learn to juggle? He asks excitedly. I'll teach you everything I know for a small sum. Sure, except I don't have any money. You take checks. Oh, I don't have money. <laughs> Says the jester. He walks away disappointed. You're disappointed. Alright, well let's go to the tavern then and deal with that disappointment. I'm going to parts and you spend the week serving drinks at the tavern. You win one wolf in tips and gain two charm. One day the tavern throws its annual dart tournament. Let's let's it's annual, so let's enter. Yes, dart throwing. You play the worst game of darts anyone's ever seen. Come dead last. I see. They say the last time it came, the yog devoured houses whole stole lives, tore families and family members apart. But that was so very long ago. Let's go to the forest and fight monster or chop wood. No, hunt. I can hunt. Let's hunt. You spend a week hunting various defenseless critters. That... Cool. You gain two finesse and sell the pelts for one wealth. Can I learn to juggle now? One day during your forest excursions, you stumble upon a swarm of rats. At first, you jump backwards in shock. Then you start to hear them conversing with one another. They call you over. Excuse me, man. One of them says in a high pitched voice. Do you think you might be able to help us out with something? We say we're trying to elect a new leader, but it seems the votes are completely tied. Trying to decide between Seed Paw, the vengeful, and Bright is the wise. Says the rat. Seed Paw steps forward. You hope for me, the rats will have a powerful leader, one who isn't afraid to seek our enemy or fight to the enemy, proclaims Seedpaw. Light Tooth steps up. You hope for me, good miss, I'll lead these rats to an age of enlightenment, says Light Tooth. Which rat do you choose? Well, obviously, I don't want you devouring me whole where I stand, so Light Tooth. Yeah, tiny applause. Seedpaw bows his head and walks back into the mass of rats. Light to you climbs up on your shoulder and whispers ancient secrets to you hear as thanks. Why does the rat know ancient secrets? Isn't he like a week old? Yes. I'm not gonna complain. I like ancient secrets. Let's go to the garden and meditate. Spend the week in deep meditation. One magic. Can, can I only do like things for a week at a time? Like, did no one give these people a day planner? see a fat little frog sitting on the lily pad. Please, sir. In the frog beds. I am not a frog at all, but an enchanted prince. If you could see a way to kissing me, it would break the curse and return me to normal. Well, what if I catch the frog and hold him for No, I'm not evil. You bend down and kiss the frog. You feel curious stirring, like a curse trying to break. Unfortunately, you don't seem to be magical enough to get the job done. The frog thanks you for your efforts and hops off sadly. I think that frog just wanted a kiss. Flip warts. It was honest in a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The air shook. The air went still. All right, let's let's go to the alchemy tower and brew a potion. Spend the week brewing potions, experimentally such like. Two magic and one mind. Now she could probably break it. One day, a swarm of rats infests the building. They're biting everything in their way. Everyone else in the building flees immediately. What do you do? Plus them with magic, obviously. 
I get a bouquet of flowers. That wasn't the spell. What about my ancient secrets? Oh wow. Can you help? No? Okay. Well then let's go to the tavern. No, let's go to the hospital. I need to get rid of these lip -lips. Um, I'm, I'm, I, they just let me tend to patients? Alright, I'm gonna tend to patients. Spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. Two mind and one, what, they just, I just walk in. Just start, you hear spooky sounds echoing through the hospital. Oh, well, that's never good. Soon afterwards, a glowing blue ghost floats down from the ceiling. He seems to be wandering the halls aimlessly, howling out horrible noises. He doesn't appear to realize that she's freaking everyone the fuck out. He decided to do something about it. I don't have the magic to vaporize a ghost, but I might be able to talk it down with my mind. You approach the spirit and try to explain to her the effect she's having on the sick. You're not convincing enough to be able to persuade her to stop haunting. I'm not good at anything. Eventually, everyone gets used to her and learns to live with a creepy ghost. Oh, that's nice. It's kind of like a, a good, good, a good story. And then the world was a howling fury. Chaos. Screaming. The sound of all we knew being pulled in half. Oh, it's not a good time. Alright, let's... Where haven't I been? Let's go hang out in the slums. I can hang out in the slums. With my four physique. I can't fight crime with my four physique, though. You know what? No. I'm going, I'm going to, like, use magic and finesse. You spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. Yeah! Yeah. Oh, one night you hear a woman whisper at you. Whisper at you. Hey, you. She calls out. Looking to make a bit of coin. No. I've been fighting crime. Oh. I, apparently I just give in. She signals for you to go into the alleyway with her. Come closer. Nobody else can hear what I'm about to tell you. Lean in close like a noob, you get to learn how you'll be earning this coin. She presses herself right up against you, moving your lips slowly towards the ear. Suddenly, she bites your neck viciously like no one knew she was a vampire. Blood pours from the wound, and she clings to you tightly, lapping it all up. You black out. When you come to, you see her standing over you. Thanks, she says, tossing you a couple coins. I gained a wealth! You notice the wound is healed completely. Well, that's cool. Oh, I'm a vampire. What? I have two physique. This is not a good time. Alright, let's go to the arena. Compete in fight. Spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. Two physique and one finesse. Bring a match, another warrior's weapon is knocked from their grasp. You barely manage to avoid it. With a sickening crunch, destroys the knee of a nearby bystander. Well, that's no good. He accuses you of causing him harm by not stopping the flying weapon. I think it's my responsibility. Takes me to court. Apparently they also like frivolous lawsuits. Alright, alright, I can do this. I'm gonna defend myself. That's absurd. The judge agrees. This is the case. Yes. Frivolous accusations is right. When it arrives, it's time. How will we fare? Will we once more rebuild? Move on? Be strong? Or have we forgotten? Alright, I'm charming as all hell, so let's go to the tavern and see what I can do with that charm. Let's bartend. Serving drinks at the tavern. More charm! Over the course of the week, you notice your skin become paler and your teeth sharper. You notice that whenever you talk, everyone nearby hangs on your every word. Three charm. You also feel more frail and gaunt than you used to. I, I don't have any physique. I'm literally like a toothpick. Just like, just nothing. One day you notice a woman tilting her head back, brushing her hair. Her neck fully exposed. You can even see a vein or two. Delicious. Before you know it, you're coated in blood with a mangled form in front of you. There are dozens of people around, and they're all filled with delicious nectar. The next few hours are a blur. You wake up the next day in bed sheets soaked with blood that is not your own. You look in the mirror and notice your skin has regained its color and your teeth have dulled. I ate so many people my teeth dulled. How did I get to them exactly with my zero physique? Whatever. Uh, Alright, let's uh... Let's 
go to the gardens and improve my mind. What's landscape? One finesse, one physique, and earn wealth. One day you come across an elderly man snoozing on the grass. You there, young person. He waves you over. I'm having an awful time trying to nap in the bright sun. Do you mind giving me some shade? Yeah, I don't have anything better to do. Ages seem to pass as you stand in the hot sun, the wizened old man sleeping peacefully in your shadow. The sun is sweltering, and after some hours you feel faint. Gradually everything grows dark. I'm just not having a good time of this. When you awaken, it is evening in the garden, and an ancient gnarled tree standing where the old man was sleeping. Witnessing this miraculous event, you gain one magic. Nice. The Yogg. It's almost here. Almost. Almost. Alright, let's see what we can do in this final- I can't go to the tavern because I've killed everyone there. Well, that's not a good time. Let's go- I'm gonna go to the palace and see if I can rule this place. Attend a ball! You spend the week attending fancy gatherings. You gain two charm and one finesse. One day the king approaches you. Excuse me, but you look like someone who I can confide in, he says. I really want a prince to take over the throne, but the queen and I aren't exactly active in the bedroom, if you know what I mean. He blushes a little. Do you have any advice on how I could romance the queen, so to speak? Yeah, turn into a vampire. You spend hours drawing a bunch of diagrams, going through scenarios with the king. Positions, perhaps? By the end of it, he's just as charming as you are, only not a vampire. He thanks you and hands you a large sack of coins as a reward. Ah, uh, well, that was less ruling the kingdom than I thought it would be. Hmm. Let's use my mind at the hospital. Because I could just do that. Sorry, I've been gone for a couple weeks. Uh, doing nothing at all that useful. I went and fought in the arena for a while. You spend a week diagnosing and tending the sick. You gained two mine and earned one wealth. One day, while in the maternity ward, you notice a woman about to give birth. The baby she births no ordinary baby, however. Its skin is pitch black and shiny, and its eyes glow like an orange flame. It wrestles itself from the doctor's hands and tries to fly away. Stop that demon! yells the doctor. Use my physique! because it's slightly better than my magic. You put yourself between the demon and the exit. You catch the baby and manage to hold on as it struggles to break free. Yes! I caught the baby ball! The doctor runs up with a scalpel and quickly slits the demon's th Oh, I was part of killing a baby demon. Your mouth goes agape at the doctor's merciless killing of a baby. He shrugs and walks away. Harsh. The storm arrives in the night. By the morning, it still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us through a grinder, drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. But then it ends. We see the graveyard of our home has become our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we past saving? I don't know. Let's find out. I could be. I'm. I don't fucking. I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna be a leader because I'm charming as fuck. Take it upon yourself to be the leader of the survivors. You expertly delegate and prioritize tasks. Yes! Organizational management. You give motivating speeches and act as an effective mediator in disputes. This helps your building effort significantly. And what I, I... a lot of mind. I'm going to be a doctor. I spent a lot of time in that hospital. You take it upon yourself to help the sick and injured from the yog. You're able to keep most patients in stable condition. Some are even able to get up and back to work in no time. This helps the survival effort quite a bit. Awesome. And so, we set about our tasks. Once more living our lives, this time in a way may not never have expected, or even wanted. But in the end... It was a struggle, but a struggle we never abandoned. Though our home had been stripped apart, we did not let it languish. And whether we succeed or fail, we did our best. Who knows if the Yogg will visit us again? Who knows if we will ever be, can ever be, ready for it? Bam! Golden Kingdom. Sweet. I have to I have to get someone else in here to look at this. With the town being rebuilt, you take a visit to the palace library. You look for any material regarding the mysterious disease with which that woman infected you. 
After a few months of research, you think you've discovered exactly what you need to do. You will do yourself a stake and begin scouring the slums, hoping to enact your revenge. One day you find a secret passage leading deep into the sewers. While the town is being rebuilt, you decide to become a full-time arena warrior. So I went from doctor to arena warrior. Maybe arena doctor, oh, whatever. You slowly rise the ranks, knocking out scores of fighters with your doctor prowess. Even ones as great as John the Beautiful. Maybe I was using my, like, scalpel abilities. Before long, you become the arena champion. You travel across the world, fighting the very best of the best. Tales are sung far and wide of your mighty feats of power. Cool. So did I... did I get the vampire? That was really cool. Hmm. Let's play this again, but I gotta... I'm gonna show this to someone else. We'll play two-player.